Hello everyone. This is the falling weight chart pattern. The falling weight chart pattern is bullish reversal chart pattern, which means that whenever it is formed, it means that the price will rally towards upside. It is a continuation pattern. The falling wedge pattern is found in uptrends. As you can see in this diagram, this is an uptrend. The falling wedge is the widest at top and becomes narrow as it moves downward. As you can see, this is the resistance line and this is the support line. The support line is declining in descending way. It is coming towards downside and the resistance line is also coming in a descending way. As the price consolidates between the falling wedge, it gets compressed until it break out. This would be our buying zone. After the falling wedge is broken, this would be our buying zone. We should always wait for our interpretation. Upon breaking the breakout, we will buy. This will be our buying zone. And the targets for the falling wedge would be the resistance levels of the wedge. Let me show you in a while. The target number one would be the resistance level. This is the resistance level. This would be our target number one and our target number two would be this, the second resistance. These are the resistance level. And this will be our buying zone. This was our entry point and these resistance levels are our targets. Take profits. This is target number one and this is the target number two. Let's go to the chart and find falling wedge chart pattern. This is the compound in US dollar chart. As you can see over here, the price was in an uptrend. The price was declining in a descending way. This is the resistance line. And this is the support line, which makes a perfect falling wedge. Let's draw it. This is the resistance line. The price is constantly tapping this area, then getting down, constantly tapping, then getting down. And finally, it got broke. And this is the support line. We got one tap or multiple taps over here and another one over here price bounced back from this zone. As you can see the support line was in a descending way. The resistance line is also in a descending way. The price is consolidating between wedge and is getting compressed. The price successfully surpassed the trend line, got retested and straight headed targets. The targets as I have mentioned for this would be the resistance levels. This is the resistance level number one. The price went up towards this zone and rejected, which means that this is the resistance zone. And this is our second resistance zone, this one. These two zones would be our take profits. As you can see, successfully take profit number one is hit it and number two is hit it. So that's how you trade the falling witch pattern. I personally love the falling wedge pattern. The results are very remarkable. The falling wedge patterns works very well and I have tried and tested them. I hope you have enjoyed the lecture. Let's move on to our next lecture.